Welcome back to another episode of Silent Pals Go to the Movies. Tuli is busy at the moment at a convention, so if you want to know what he's up to, check his social media or tune into his Twitch channel, and all the links will be below. So today I will be talking about The Grudge. Also, just a fair warning, there's going to be spoilers up ahead, so you've been warned. A house is cursed by a vengeful ghost that dooms those who enter it with a violent death. If you want to know the cast and the details links are down below so we're going to start with my pros what i liked about the movie which is not much was the homages they played to the original juan films most importantly the original japanese horror movie that included the japanese house they try to tie in the house and try to explain how it traveled with the person to america well those things kind of made sense if you saw the original and especially when they dropped the names of the film Juwan explaining how Juwan is the curse and the family who resided in the original house. I thought that was a nice homage to the original film. The other thing that I kind of liked that they actually failed at doing which is going to lead me to cons is how they tried to copy the Japanese horror. Uh, this is talking about when the film you play with the light and dark in the film to create an ambience that basically brings on the horror feel and and the sounds, the clicking sounds, the meowing sounds and stuff like that, that lures you into this feeling of horror. Asian films do this especially well because they play with all the elements. But in America, we kind of lean towards the American jump scare or what we call the Western jump scare, where it's when a person looks into a room that's empty, they turn around, they do a double take and boom there's a ghost in front of them and they get scared. They kind of led this movie down that path by a bunch of Western jump scares, which I'm not really a fan of. I can see them coming. I kind of cringe when this happens because to me, it's just a scapegoat that is not very original. Now, talk about my cons. They try to tie the Japanese films and the American films together. Well, this is a good thing, but at the same time, why would you want to connect the American films to the original Japanese films? Yes, they did play kind of a along the same timeline but in a sense you don't really want to associate with the western grudge films to say the least they're not one of the best movies ever made this movie by doing that kind of degraded itself it got a lower grade on my scale because it tried to sell you this idea of these movies are a continuation of a long tradition or a long curse but it never really sold it to me at the same time the film tried to set up some rules that at the same time it broke for example anybody who steps inside the house gets cursed so does this mean that in between the murders in the american house painters people who change carpet workers or even the cops who showed up to the scene after the murders were all these people cursed it doesn't make sense and you can't just say anybody who steps into it okay i'll give you that maybe they said that people who are grieving and step into this house they get cursed then why did the detective wilson get cursed he wasn't grieving or what about the lady who assisted in suicide why did she get cursed why did she get followed by the ghost she wasn't grieving anything also weren't the ghosts supposed to stalk one house then why did they haunt people outside the house for example the suicide lady who or who assisted in suicide detective molden and william matheson why were they all tormented with the ghosts or were they able to see the ghosts outside of the house for example the lady as she drove off there was a ghost in her car and this was outside of the house detective molson when she was driving home she saw the girl in the middle of the road this was miles away from the actual home so it doesn't really make sense that all these rules are established and once it comes to the U.S., all these rules are broken. My final con is the ending was horrible. If I followed the rules that they had broken and I would try to fix this film, I would have had the little girl ghost lure the detective's son, Burke, outside of his house and into the haunted house. This would actually have led the detective and Detective Goodman back to the original haunted house where the ghost would have actually play tricks on them. For example, for Goodman, they would have shown him his mom and lured him deeper and deeper into the house and then tormented him or played around with him. And for Molden, they would show her her son as bait to step inside the house and try to rescue him. And as for the son inside the house, Burke, he would be missing, but at the same time, he would be following a ghost of his father, luring him deeper and deeper into the house. By doing this, the house actually controls them and basically tries to scare them even further. And at the end, the mother and son would escape the house by they close their eyes and they count to five when they're scared. By doing that little trick, they would actually escape the house. 
while Goodman, the other detective, would actually stay back, sacrifice himself by burning the house from the inside. Then at the end, they would have the cliffhanger, basically to set up the sequel. And this would have been done just so Nicholas, the director, can have what he wanted and what he has stated that he wants to continue this and actually expand the curse from going from America to probably Australia, Europe, and Africa. So those are the things that I want to change, not saying that by doing that would actually have fixed the movie. It would have kind of cleaned up a little bit of the mess, but still, this movie is beyond fixing. So overall, this film is bad. I would suggest don't go see it. Just watch the original Juwan films, the Japanese ones, and leave it at that. So I give this film 4 out of 10. And that is with a little bit extra points for the mentioning of the Juwan, the Japanese movies, and parts of the original movie embedded into this. So that does it for this review of The Grudge. Please join us next time when we are going to review Bad Boys for Life. Bad boys, bad boys. Hey, what you gonna do? do? What you gonna do when we come in? Hey, hey, hey uh uh. No, no, uh, no never. Y'all will never do that again. Yeah, and you fucking up the lyrics, which take a long time to learn. Please like, comment, and subscribe. You can find our social media links below. And like always, keep watching movies.